Hello. Uh, this is how to fold up a flat pack. First of all, I want to say thanks uh, for the opportunity to support your project, uh, your team. So the flat pack comes and you can pull them out and fold them up as you, as you want. We're going to go ahead and start with the lid. We package these a couple different ways. So um, you, <laughs> these may come out a little bit differently, but this is how we're we're currently doing it. You pull out the lid. There's two pieces of tape, exacto knife. You can cut each side. Now these are on the parts that get folded under, so they shouldn't affect your uh, the aesthetics of the box in any way. Uh, this is the pad that goes on the inside. If you're in your studio, you can use two heavy samples, maybe terrazzo, maybe something else, um, concrete or glass. But I use in our uh, elegant studio. I use paint cans for folding. So, two long sides, left and right. These tabs are actually folded up in um, shipping, so they kind of stick already that way. So those go in. This one comes over top. Uh, I try to take my time to push in the corners. I use a heavy paint can. I'll move this out of the way so that you can see a little bit better. Same thing across here. These flaps go in, these flaps go out, comes over the top, wraps over, make sure that these are tucked in. Got this one, hold down that with my thumb, push this over, move the paint can, same thing here, wraps over. And then this is something we've been doing uh, just for a little bit added support, you take hot glue. You don't have to do this, but it does make your box stronger. And we just put an X here. Um, but a little bit of hot glue seems to go a long way. We take the corrugation of the ply and turn it. So the corrugation of the lid's going this way. And then we take the corrugation in the pad insert and turn it and go the other direction. There's my lighting that just turned off. Push two fingers down here. Push two fingers on the edge here, all the way in. Make sure that glue gets sealed. And then I kind of just bend the, the cardboard back because I like to make it as straight and as architectural as possible. And that's our lid. This is the tray, the bottom part. So I pull this out of the box. Um, this is a little bit different. These are taped on the edges and it kind of uh, opens up as soon as you pull it out. So just take your X-Acto knife, uh, cut one corner, cut two corner. Over here is probably where you can see the best. Where I can't see the best. Uh, just so that opens up. And the box has been in this position once it's sent to you guys for a while. So... Uh, it shouldn't be as hard as this, or it shouldn't, should lay flat, more flat than this. So here is your pad for the tray. It's two pieces of cardboard laminated together. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna grab our trusty uh, second person helper. Now if someone's in your studio, they can help you, but I use paint cans or just heavy weights, glass, trazo. These small little white tab, mini tabs, are on the edges that are on the left and right of me. Those come up. So I put those behind, between my heavy samples that holds them up. Again, these are the mini tabs. And then I just pop this bottom piece up and over. I definitely take my time doing it because the reinforcement on the cardboard, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, put this inside. Come over here, mini tabs in. Big tabs out, mini tabs in, big tabs out. Take my time getting that over there, likes to get caught. Push this down and kind of just wrap over. Move the can here, push down, wrap over. And then let me grab our insert here. This is something, again, same thing as we do with the lid. If you just take a hot glue gun, you don't have to do this. It does make your box a little bit stronger. And we just put a little bit of hot glue in here. I put a big X. 
and then I change the corrugation direction. So this is vertical. I'm going to take the insert and put it horizontal. Push down on one side, push down on the other side. Drop this in here, make sure that the glue is good to go. And then I like to straighten out this cardboard to make it as straight as possible. And then, so that's your tray piece. So there you have your very own uh, fresh out of the box, newly folded Ando design box, kind of a white canvas for you to present to your client uh, the way that you want with your branding, your initiative. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it.